it's pretty clear that big names like Google and OpenAI are at the forefront of the AI scene, with cool tech demos showing up all the time. So let's talk about where all of this is heading and what the future holds for AI, or more accurately, large language models. My name's Art, and today we're talking the future of LLMs, large language models, and asking the question, can open source project really outpace Google and OpenAI? The humans are dead. The humans are dead. We use poisonous gases and we poison their asses. I know it looks like every time I make a video, I got those power lines in the background. Uh, that's because out here in Orange County, that's really the only infrastructure we have. It's the oversized power lines or it's eight lane uh, strodes. So it seems like every company on the planet has either had some sort of software to help little Timmy cheat on their math homework or some AI tool to help the teacher grade Timmy cheated on math homework. And it really has become an arms race, whether it's Microsoft rolling out their their co-pilot for Office 365. Oh, I'm sorry, Microsoft 365. Or it's Google's answer to 365, Google Workspaces, which is now going to be getting uh, Duet AI, which is essentially the same thing. Takes information from one of your documents, it's, accurately and smartly applies it to another part of your application it's only a matter of time before all these platforms become not indistinguishable from one another and i think we're on the precipice of that but the question is twofold one when will the robot uprising begin and two which of these ai assistant platforms will become the dominant player i have my own theories on this Microsoft was the first ones to, you know, jump on this one with their with their co-pilot. They did a big presentation. It was actually pretty impressive. They started out with a, a spreadsheet that let them auto-generate a cover letter related to the data in the spreadsheet, and then using the cover letter and the spreadsheet, also generate a PowerPoint presentation with notes for the uh, speaker. Very cool. And then Google, which makes uh, Palm 2 and Bard, they rolled out a demonstration where they took data from a spreadsheet, used Bard to build a cover letter, and then used that sp spreadsheet to make a, a presentation with notes for the speaker. Again, these tools are nearly identical. But what about the other spaces? What else out there is there? And well, if we're to believe a leaked email from one of the head uh, eggheads from Google, the real threat is the same exact threat it was with the image generation. Because Dolly used to be like the big honcho, the big guy on top when it came to text to image generation. But if you look now at platforms like Stable Diffusion, they are just beating the crap out of Dolly. Dolly looks like a child's toy by comparison. And I feel like we're going down a very similar rabbit hole when it comes to the chat assistant. Side note, if you like this video and or just like me in general, feel free to give this video a thumbs up or give this channel a follow. And if you want to support me and my productions here, I will have a link to my Patreon and LibrePay uh, down below. On top of the open source trend, we're also looking at their own little arms race. And again, just like with the image generation, um, I personally have used Open Assistant, Alpaca, and whatever that is that uh, Hugging Face is using. Actually, I think that might be based on Open Assistant. We're now in the age of the uh, of competition and rapid growth and innovation, and it's kind of exciting to watch. So what language models or AI projects do you find the most exciting or promising? And do you think these could be used to make the future better or far worse? If you have any thoughts, let me know in the comments below. 
Personally, I think the future of AI looks super exciting, but also comes with a lot of challenges. I think our best bet is to stay informed, um, try to be involved in what's happening in this space, and be aware of the changes and new threats that are built all around this brave new world, if you would. I'm gonna try to make sure I link down below some of the references I use while looking this up. Uh, most importantly, the video presentations for Microsoft and Google's AI Assistant integration, um, and a few links to some of the cooler open source uh, LLMs. Uh, but until next time, uh, stay fresh, cheese bags. <laughs>